We've been invaded by killer bees, y'all. <laughs> so we had an invasion of bees in our shed. They're in the floor of the shed. We needed to find them a better home. How about them bees, y'all? <laughs> Crazy adventure. Getting the bees out of the shed was a whole adventure in itself. But our next challenge after that was getting the bees to stay in the hive that we built and being able to move them from next to the shed to a different area. Of course, I had everything uh, ready to go. I had a couple blocks set up out there already. Got everything leveled off because you want things level when you put your bees there. So when they build things, they build it straight, not, not crooked. And then it makes it hard to move the bars and inspect the hive. So what we did, we had a plan as to how we would move the bees and get them to stay in the hive. So we sealed up the entrances of the hive after most of the bees had gone in there for the night. We pretty much just put some screen over it and duct taped that on. Then early the next morning, we went out and we moved the hive. Yeah, we weren't sure of the weight and carrying all those bees that far of a distance. So we, I thought we'd put it on a cart, but we're carrying it over, uh, you know, rough terrain soil. You know, there's a lot of, a lot of bumps. I held it steady, Jim pulled the cart, and we got it close to where we wanted it, and then we just carried it by hand the rest of the way. The place we chose to put the hive was, we didn't want it too close, but not too far away so that you don't have to walk a great distance to check on them. So it's about 100 yards away, and we've kind of tucked it into a spot by these acacias where hopefully it might provide a little bit of shade and wind protection and hopefully deter animals from messing with it too much. Deters me from messing with it too much. Man, those acacias can be vicious. Yeah, definitely. And we have the entrance of the hive facing southeast, so it gets the morning light. And we set up some water in a saucer for them. So we were trying to do some research on how to get bees oriented to a new hive or a new spot. There's different techniques that beekeepers use if they need to move a hive. And one we found out about was basically you either move the hive like a few feet at a time or you move it like a few miles. Then the bees can find their way back to the new hive spot instead of returning to the original spot. But the problem was we have to move this hive somewhere in between, about 100 yards. So what do we do in that case? We do what we did. There are some other ways you can get bees to reorient themselves so that they can find their way back to their new home. One way is through confinement. So you trap them in their hive, in their box, when they come out, they'll look around and find landmarks so that they can find their way back. Any amount of confinement will have this effect, but I guess the optimum <laughs> amount of time is like 72 hours. But we didn't want to hold them up in there for that long. I felt bad doing that. It's the fall. There's a limited window when there's still going to be things blooming. They need to get their resources. They need to prepare. Need to forage. So we went 24 hours. But there's another way to reorient bees, and that's to just block the entrance with something that they just have to maneuver around. And when they say, oh, hey, something's different here, I gotta go around that, then they come out and they reorient. So we took some of the acacia branches that were in the new hive location, and we just stuck them right in front of the hive entrances so that they had to go around them. So I think with that combination, we were able to get the bees to go back to the new hive. That's right. Now some of them did go back to the shed. We had to get 
every little crack sealed up that they were going into and I just took them to the new location. And after that, we weren't seeing any bees by the shed anymore. In addition, we had put some of the brood comb into the hive and a little bit of lemongrass oil and they seemed to like it. Hmm. Worked like a charm. Yeah, but we wanted to put more comb in the hive for them. So when I went to check on the bees, one of the combs that I had put in dropped. It broke and it fell to the bottom of the hive. So I took that piece out and I reattached it along with some other comb. It's kind of a messy job, wasn't it? It was messy. We I mean, were messing with the beeswax, honey was falling everywhere. I had to prepare more of the foundation bars with the mesh so you could get it on. We were kind of like doing like a two person job trying to get those things ready. But uh, I think we did it, I think we managed it. Mm -hmm. And all the rest of the comb that you did weren't able to put on the bars. I think you froze it, keep yeah. it in storage. In case they need any more. So it's kind of weird, but I feel like these bees are kind of a gift. At first, it seemed like a big problem that we were just trying to get rid of. A curse, you would say? We were like, no, we don't want bees here. And we tried to get rid of them, and the bees were like, no. We're here. We're here to stay. <laughs> so we decided to turn that into an opportunity. Permaculture rule number one. I don't know if it's number one, but the problem is the solution, right? I told you, I feel like this is turning into like a rescue farm. We already have one animal that kind of just happened into our lives. We weren't planning on it, but you know, we're just trying to make the most of what we've been given. So I really hope these bees do well, especially over the coming winter. You know, I was nervous, you know, the first few days uh, after we got the hive placed. Like what's gonna happen with these bees? Are they gonna stay? Are they gonna be okay? And then I started seeing them going in and out of the hive. The hive was humming. They're coming out in the mornings and visiting flowers. I saw them drinking out of the bird bath and out of the, the saucer that I put out for them. It's pretty incredible that they seem to have just kind of taken to the new home. So it's really exciting. Wow. And we just kind of got thrown into this. We don't know a whole lot. We're, We're still to, learning a lot. Uh, obviously, there's still a world of information we still have to learn. Uh, but uh, who knows? Maybe we'll get some more swarms. Maybe we'll even have a bee business. All right. Thanks so much for watching, everyone.